Hey all, Wooly Fan here. I'm doing a video for uh, the Amazing Murfineer contract contest entry video. Well, Mike wanted us to show some of our um, signed books. Um, he didn't specify how many. You know, like I, I know, but probably most of us have quite a few. Uh, mine are all put away. Um, I've kind of quickly dug through the, the few boxes that I have that I still need to, you know sort through yet and find homes for and reorganize the stash and you know you know how it goes you gotta buy more boxes so you can fill other ones um and organize so but uh but yeah so i just grabbed a few i didn't grab a whole shit ton um just some of the ones i picked up over the last little while and and uh, uh one i had grabbed to show a friend and it was actually one of the first ones i got signed and it was pretty cool. It was a few. It was a few years ago, and it is Wolverine 36, signed by Mark Silvestri. Pretty cool. Um, I had 50 number 50 done as well, and uh, it's put away. Um, somebody wanted to see the book, so I brought, pulled it out. I, I stuck it in my uh, my put away pile, you know. So I haven't put it away yet, but I will. Um, and then I was at uh, a friend's store, and I was happened to be digging through the boxes just for you know, you know, like you said, picking to find what you can find. And I came across a really nice copy, which is kind of cool too because I need a nicer copy um, of GI Joe num number 63. But it's it's signed, it's in silver down here by Mike Zek. So I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. So that was pretty cool. I mean, $10 book. You know. Can't go wrong with that. Signed book. And the same day, I found Amazing Spider-Man 293. Also signed by Mike Zek. That, that was kind of neat. And they're just sticking in the boxes. Like I would have figured he would have put them up on the wall or something like that. Put a, threw a few extra dollars on it. But no, I mean, like, the guy's just kind of cool. He just figures out oh, the book's only worth this. To him, the signature meant nothing, right? Because they're not verified. So, you know, but for the rest of us, it's kind of neat. And I was, another one I was at, actually at a convention. And, um, actually, was last year's Hamilton Comic Con. And Mike Zek was there. So I got, uh, Punisher. Two. There's a signature right there. Um, Deathstroke Determinator One. Did it in gold, kind of cool. Did it right out there on the chimney. If you can see it. There you go. There was another one too. I got. I forget what GI Joe issue it was, but uh, I think it was like 42 or something along that lines. Um, it's in the boxes. I just didn't find it. It's, uh, I know it's there. It's just a matter of taking my time to go through it quicker or slower. Um, and this was kind of neat. At a Hamilton, or Toronto Con about two years ago, or last year, I found Hulk 392 signed by Dale Keown. And I paid two bucks for it. Actually, I think I paid a buck. I think they were 50% off. So either way, two bucks or a buck, that's insane. My enemy would want to get rid of uh, a Keown signature. He doesn't do a lot of them anymore. You know, I used to like his art when he was when I was a kid. But uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I also found um, Hulk 393, also signed by Dale Keown, which is pretty cool. So there's, I'm going to show a few slab books, um, I have a few more, I just didn't really want to make this, you know, really long, um, but, uh, so, last, uh, last year at the, uh, NiagaraCon, um, Larry Hama was there, and he never comes to Canada, at least I don't think, anyway first time I've seen him there so 
I uh, I got two GI Joe books done. Uh, GI Joe number one. Yeah, just signed it right there. Yeah, came back in '92. That was cool. And uh, my GI Joe 155. Signed it down there. That one came back in 98. Very nice. And then, um, also a couple of years ago, because um, last year Stan Lee was off sick, he didn't he didn't make it to Fan Expo, and this year was his last year. Uh, I didn't get anything done this year. I figured, you know, I know Stan Lee's signatures were a lot and be a lot more when he goes when you know eventually that will happen but I didn't want to be one of those guys who goes out and just buys a whole shit ton of bucks and get them all signed so you can sell them off when he's dead I don't think that's right I did it for me so um but anyway I spent quite a bit of time looking for these two books and this is like one of the ones from my first, earlier videos I've showed these already um the first one is uh, it came back a 3.5 uh, X Men number eight. There's Dan's name. Um, so I thought that was kind of nice. And uh, also came back a 3.5 uh, Amazing Fantasy eight, Adult Fantasy eight. So I wanted something that he had done personally like worked on not just you know because he's owner put his name on it I wanted something he actually did himself so just to show a little bit of respect right you know that's just that's just me uh, you, anybody can do whatever they want and, you know if they want to give him a paper towel <laughs> to sign that's fine too whatever you know um, you know what I mean Nothing, nothing against it. It's just something I, I wanted to do for myself too, right? So, but, uh, but anyway, so that's the video. Um, like I say, it's for uh, Murph's amazing Murph's uh, contest video for signed things, um, and uh, I wish him the best. You know, he's uh, grown quite a bit in the last year, or so it's uh, he's got a really good channel. Uh, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely, you know, promote it. Um, uh, I lost my train. <laughs> it's getting late. It's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> I went to the con today. <laughs> this is my second video. Oh, well. But anyway, that's just me rambling. So anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I say, that's just a taste, you know. If you want to see the rest of the stuff, watch the rest of my videos that <laughs> they're on it. Um, but, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night.